Cortana, tell me a joke. What did the passive aggressive raven say? Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> How to install Windows 10 technical preview on your Mac. What is up ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is Jeff Benjamin with iDownloadBlog. I'm going to show you in this video how to download Windows 10 technical preview and install it on your Mac using VMware Fusion. Now you can do all this free of charge because VMware gives you 30 free days of evaluation time with their product. So you can try out Windows 10, the developer preview or the technical preview as they call it, is now available for free download. Uh, there's just a couple little stipulations when it comes to downloading this uh, technical preview. Uh, first of all, you have to be a part of Microsoft's Windows Insider program, but that is free. And you can go to the link on the post on iDownload blog and sign up for the Windows Insider program if you haven't already. Once you've done that, then you can go to this page, which will have linked in the blog, and then you can download the ISO file necessary. And here it is, here's English United States. You just click that, it'll download that ISO file to your downloads folder on your Mac, and you can go from there. So once you do that, all you need to do is head over to VMware's website, and I'll have that directly linked in the post as well. And then you just install VMware Fusion. Uh, you download it here and you install VMware Fusion 7. Now I have both the ISO file for Windows uh, 10 developer preview or technical preview. I keep saying developer preview. I have both that and I also have, I want to show you here in just a second. Let's pull up our downloads page. And I also have the VMware Fusion uh, DMG so I can mount that and get that process started. So you see the Windows 10 technical uh, preview there. And it's about 4.21 gigabytes, so that will take a, a while to download. And you also see the VMware Fusion 7, and I have that at about 354 megabytes. So uh, pretty large files there, but again, if you want to try Windows 10 Technical Preview, this is the best way to do so, and the easiest way. It's so easy. I'm going to show you how easy it is in this video. So the first thing you want to do is just double-click on VMware Fusion. Uh, that will mount that DMG file, and then you just want to double-click on the VMware Fusion app to start the installation process. And you wanna just click open when you get that little warning. And then it's gonna ask you for your administrator password. So I'm gonna put that in right now. And it's initializing. And this setup really doesn't take long at all. You'll notice how quick it is. Now, what you wanna do, you don't obviously have a key because you haven't purchased VMware Fusion unless you have, then you can put your key in. But since I'm using a free trial, I'm gonna click here. I want to try VMware Fusion 7 for 30 days. Click continue. Now it's going to ask you for an email address. I'm just going to put something bogus in here because I don't want to be spammed and I don't want to buy the product at this moment. So I'll just click continue. And now it's going to ask me for my administrator password again. I'll put that in. I want to uncheck yes. I would like to help improve VMware Fusion. Uh, just click done. And now you're on the installation method. So you're already at the point where you're ready to start the installation process. So you want to make sure that install from disk or image is selected and then just click continue. And then you'll see where it says use another disk or disk image. So just click that. And then you want to go to your downloads folder or wherever you downloaded the ISO file. In my case, it's the downloads folder. And then find your ISO file for Windows 10 technical preview, which is right there. And then click on open. Now you're ready to continue. So click continue. And now you want to click customize settings because you want to up the uh, stats or up the settings, up the preferences for this virtual machine so we can give it a little boost and not give it the anemic settings that it tends to give it. So what you wanna do is click save because you wanna save that virtual machine file. And now you wanna click where it says processors in memory. It's only giving it one core. <laughs> Obviously you wanna give it a little more than that. I wanna give it half the cores I have. So I have eight cores. I wanna choose four processor cores. And that's sort of the methodology I go about all this. Uh, when it comes to memory, I give it about a fourth of my available memory. I have 16 gigs of memory, so I'm gonna give it about uh, four gigabytes or so. Let's put in 4096. All right, and now I'm gonna click show all. Obviously you'll need to make your decision depending on the statistics or the, the stats of your machine. If you have a pretty beefy machine like I do, then you can uh, you can spare some extra resources. If you don't have that many resources, obviously you wanna adjust accordingly. Click hard disk, it gives it 60 gigabytes 
of disk. Um, you can adjust that, of course, depending on how much disk space you have. If you have a whole lot, if you have terabytes of space, maybe you want to give it a terabyte. Uh, if you have like multiple terabytes or if you if you don't plan on really using this at all, you just want to test it out, then 60 or less should be OK. As long as it's above 40, I'd say give it at least 40 gigabytes and um, you should be good. I'm gonna, just going to keep it on 60 because, you know, why not? I have the space to spare. So now we are ready to go. Just click the little X button in the upper left hand corner and then click the little play button here. And that will begin the installation process of Windows 10. And this is obviously, you know, somewhat of a lengthy process, but it doesn't take that long and it's pretty straightforward and easy to follow. So now I'm just going to close out of this in the background. I'm going to close out of this folder here as well. And we're just going to wait and watch this process go through. And now you'll see where it's asking for a language to install. All these default settings should be okay unless you live, you know, you don't live in the United States and you don't speak English, then obviously you want to change that. But for me, the default settings are okay. Click next and then click install now. And now the installation process is going for real this time. Uh, so this will just take a while. So just be patient. And Windows 10 is pretty neat. You have a whole bunch of new features. You have uh, Cortana, obviously, is a big part of the uh, part of the uh, system, which is like Siri. So now when you get this screen, the license terms, just click I accept the license terms and click Next. Now you want to choose Custom Install, and then you want to click Next. And then it will go through. And now it's going to copy all your Windows files. It's going to get the files ready for installation. It will start installing features installing updates and then finishing up from there. So just um, just hang with it and this will be done momentarily. But like I was saying, you have Cortana. That's one of the like flagship features of Windows 10. Obviously it's now, um, you know, multi-platform, works on tablets, works on phones and all sorts of really cool things. I think Microsoft is really uh, trying to up the ante a little bit, trying to really step their game up. And I'm, I've been pretty impressed by their efforts as of late with the Windows 10, with Microsoft Outlook, uh, with other initiatives that they're taking, that headset, that little virtual reality headset, I can't think of the name, it, its name slips my mind at the moment, but Microsoft is doing some really cool things as of late and I think uh, they deserve praise for that. All right, so we're just gonna continue to wait. And we're almost completed with the installation. So it's installing updates and eventually we will finish up and we will reboot. And I have not sped this up at all. What you're seeing is how long it actually takes. So I'm clicking, clicking restart now. It's going to reboot the virtual machine. So you can see that this whole process, obviously I didn't download the files in this video. I downloaded those prior to us starting, but if you have a fairly fast connection, connection, you could probably have all this done within an hour easily, maybe 45 minutes or so, depending on your connection speed, maybe even sooner than that, if you have a really fast, beefy connection. Um, but that four gigabyte file takes a little while to download, so that's probably gonna be your biggest bottleneck in this whole process. And I really like VMware Fusion, I have to say. You know, I like it more than Parallels, just its ease of use, and it's just straightforward. is isn't a lot of, I don't know, Parallels just seems so weird to me now. But they're very much, very similar the way they work. I don't know, I've just become a VMware fan as of late. Seems things are a little more straightforward with the way they have things going. So it's getting ready. And still getting ready. <laughs> and still getting ready. And this is definitely one of the lengthier parts of this whole thing. But we're almost there. Yeah, anytime, just a FYI, anytime you want to release your mouse from the screen, say you've clicked in the VMware screen and you want to release your mouse, just uh, hold the command key and hit the control key and then you can release your mouse from the VMware screen or from the virtual machine and start using your Mac like normal. It's just something to keep in mind. You actually see that in the upper right hand corner right now where it says uh, to release your mouse, press control command. So uh, that's the way you do it. 
All right, so we're restarting again. So I think you do two, well, actually three reboots, including installing VMware tools, which I'll show you in a little bit. Uh, VMware tools is what you'll need to use to install all your, your your drivers and everything, display drivers and stuff like that. You definitely want to install VMware tools. Don't use a virtual machine without installing the tools package. There's a parallels tools. There's a VMware tools. I even think VirtualBox has its own tools. And those are all the drivers that you'll need to support things like your displays and resolution settings and things like that. And we're still clicking away. Okay, so now set up for you so you can get going fast. Okay, so what I like to do here is I like to just click Use Express Settings. Now it's going to ask you for your username. I'm just going to put in Jeff, password, put in, I don't know, Windows 4. Uh, how about this? Windows 10. Windows 10. Okay. Windows. Let's put win. All right, so I have my username and password. Click Finish. Now it's finalizing my settings. And now it's almost done. It's still going through some installation of apps. We're setting things up for you. That's nice to know. And you see at the bottom where it says installing your apps. You can get new apps from the store. Yeah. But this process really doesn't take that long. Um, we're almost done. Seriously. We're almost to our desktop where we can then go about the, uh, the VMware tools installation. All right, so let's start. Here we are, here's the desktop. Uh, you notice things may look a little low resolution right now, but that's because we don't have the tools. So what you wanna do is go up to your virtual machine menu and then click install VMware tools and then click install. And that should mount the disk drive necessary to install VMware tools. All right, so now you just want to open up File Explorer, and then you should see your DVD drive. And you want to just double click on Setup 64 and select Yes. Now it's preparing VMware tools. And it's taking a little bit. All right, so click Next. Keep it on Typical. Click Next. Click Install. Now it's going to go through and install all those necessary drivers and settings and everything like that so we can get everything optimized and looking good on this display. See all the drivers it's installing? Mouse driver, audio driver, video driver. And Oh, see how the resolution got bumped way up there? So click finish and then click yes. Now it's restarting. All right, so you're rebooting. And it should ask me to log in. All right, so there we go. So now it's asking me for my uh, login here. So I'm just going to put in Windows 10 and then enter. And it's signing me in now. And there we go. So ladies and gentlemen, that is how you install Windows 10 on your Mac. Now I can use Windows 10 alongside my Mac and check out all the real cool new features that Windows 10 offers. So Folks, I hope this was able to help you out. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section about Windows 10. Was this tutorial easy for you to follow? I hope it was. Let me know what you think. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.